everyone i hope you all are safe and doing good so in the series of learning python programming language in the previous video we have discussed about dictionaries in python right now in this video we will see one coding exercise based on dictionary so i would recommend please watch out that video first then come to this video now what is this coding exercise first thing we have a dictionary right now we have like uh, marks of students in the form of, of dictionary as you can see on my screen this is a dictionary student mark and here i am having name of the students and their marks right names are keys and their marks are values key and value pair we are having this dictionary we have so you can note down this thing now what you have to do you have to write down a program that will convert these given marks into grades so basically now you have to make another dictionary whatever name you can take like student underscore grade you can take and in that dictionary name of the students would be as it is but rather than marks grades would be there you have to convert those marks into grades and what are the criteria if marks are between 91 to 100 then grade is a plus 81 to 90 a 71 to 80 b plus like this this is the grading system you have to provide below 40 it's f so you can just note down this thing also okay now you have that student marks dictionary you have the grading system now you have to convert you have to just access what marks of the student and you have to put if condition if grade is between this then like grade like you know marks is greater than 90 so grade is a plus so what you will do the hint is you can take an empty dictionary student grade and in that dictionary you can just put student names and then grade rather than marks i hope now you are getting my point so please now pause the video and give it a try so i hope you have tried this out now let's do this exercise together create a new file and we'll see we'll write down coding exercise underscore dictionaries dict dot py okay now just make that same student marks that dictionary okay so now this dictionary we have student marks how how you will do that thing to access these marks using keys we can access so you have to loop through this dictionary first jenny we will access then marks then on marks we will put some condition then harry then marks then on that we will put some condition so for loop for student in student marks see this thing we have discussed in previous video if i write down this thing then this student this for loop if i print student then this for loop will access all the keys all the keys only right that why that's why i recommend you to watch previous video first so now in student we are having first jenny then harry dimpy rahul aniket and prem like this so according to this jenny we can access the marks how we can access the marks we are taking a variable marks and how we will access the dictionary name student marks and in bracket just provide the key so first key would be in student this variable right so first time in student in this variable what would be assigned jenny now student marks jenny student marks jenny student marks is the student marks jenny 92 so 92 would be fetched in this line and in marks now we have 92 now we can put, put condition on marks so if marks greater than 90 okay then now what you have to make firstly we will not change in this dictionary so we will make a second dictionary so let's take an empty dictionary student grade this is what it's an empty dictionary now in student grade we have to put the student name as key and uh, this grade of the student as values right so the name of the dictionary is student grades empty dictionary and in bracket same obviously the name should be same the, these keys would be same in both the dictionaries so just same key student whatever the key in student and here what you will assign according to this grade is a plus 
I hope you got this process. See now, marks till now, marks 92, so check 92 greater than 90, yes condition true. Condition true means you will enter in this control and student grade, this is an empty dictionary. In student, right now we are having Jenny, so the key would be how to add an element that also we have discussed, right. So Jenny A plus would be added to this student grade, first item Jenny A plus key and value pair, right. Like this we will do for all the condition, right. Second condition is elif marks greater than 80, right. In that case same in student grades and student what you will put A, right. Like this I guess you can put all the conditions. In else simply F and after that after the for loop we are going to just print student grade this dictionary right. So let us run this and see. See Jenny A plus Harry B plus Dimpy C Rahul D Aniket again A plus and Prem F. I hope you got this. See no need to put this condition maybe you are confused. Here you should put marks greater than 80 and less than 90. No need to put these and condition because see if suppose let us take one condition one example marks 82. So first thing first this if condition would be checked 82 greater than 90 no. So obviously this will not enter the control will not enter into this if else if second condition is true yes then A would be printed. Suppose marks 92. First this if condition would be checked 92 greater than 90 yes condition true. So in this control we will enter in this block and A plus right. So if this condition has been triggered then all the other condition would be skipped. So no need to put logical and condition like greater than 80 and less than 90 greater than 70 and less than 80 something like this no. This one condition is enough. Now if you are not getting this thing you can just write down this thing uh, all the you know code in a piece of paper and write down this thing with different different example different different marks of the students one by one with hand you can write on this and definitely will get it it is not so much stuff right. So that is it and sorry to Prem if anyone who is watching whose name is Prem because I gave only 34 marks but that is just an example okay. So I hope you got this exercise this was not so much tough and the next video we will see nested dictionaries as well as list. So now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care.